Hi, I'm Danny, and I have a lot to say. I, like many film enthusiasts around the world, found a love for a little production company named A24 throughout the last decade of my life. The first movie I had ever seen from them was Spring Breakers, a 2013 crime drama directed by Harmony Korean. Since the founding of the company in 2012, A24 has gone on to produce and distribute movies that have been nominated for and have won various awards, played at renowned festivals, and have inspired a generation of new filmmakers. So, begs the question, what makes A24 so successful? Why do so many people love their movies? You probably wouldn't think that a production company could hold so many captive, but with an impressive catalog of over 100 films, you would be wrong. So let's talk about it. In August of 2012, Daniel Katz, David Fenkel, and John Hodges founded what would later be known as A24 in New York City. The company was started to give leverage and creative expression to independent filmmakers all across the entertainment industry. The first movie they ever came out with was a Roman Coppola film called A Glimpse Inside the Mind of Charles Swan III in 2013. Other 2013 releases include Sally Potter's Ginger and Rosa, as I have mentioned before, Harmony Korine's Spring Breakers, Sofia Coppola's The Bling Ring, and Jane Ponsult's The Spectacular Now. In 2015, A24 started their television department by producing the show Playing House, which had started airing the year prior. In 2018, A24 released a podcast called The A24 Podcast. Now, this podcast is amazing and has great conversations between actors, and there is no host, no ads, and no rules. Since 2018, A24 has partnered with both Apple TV Plus and Showtime to distribute television shows and movies on their streaming platforms. The company's most recent releases include The Humans, directed by Stephen Karam, Come On, Come On, directed by Mike Mills, and Lamb, directed by Vladimir Johansson. Now that we have that brief overview out of the way, let's talk about A24 and how they changed the film industry for the better and why they are so successful. A24 doesn't lack any ambition. From the get-go, A24 has been willing to make movies that might not be accepted by mainstream audiences and get them in theaters globally. Now, these films wouldn't normally gain monumental attention, but that's what the company is all about. And this isn't just about the films themselves, but the way that they market the films, the budgets they use, and the creative minds that they get to work with. Let's take Hereditary, for example, directed by Ari Aster. This was Aster's first project with A24, and on a $10 million budget, made $80 million at the box office. This movie and Ari's second movie... Midsummer ended up being some of the most talked about movies of summer 2018 and summer 2019. But this is no coincidence. The marketing campaign for Hereditary was ingenious and continued to show the ambition of A24. Pretty much, A24 made an Etsy page where you could technically buy one of the dolls that character Charlie has designed. I say technically because none of the dolls could actually be purchased unless they were delivered to one of the creators or influencers to promote the film upon release. The detail and effort put into this one aspect of the marketing campaign shows that A24 doesn't ever and won't ever lack ambition. Another great example of the production company taking advantage of marketing is when they worked with Robert Eggers' movie, The Witch. They partnered with the Satanic Temple and made a now-defunct website called The Satanic Revolution. The meaning behind this was the implication of a terrifying movie. This ended up getting out of hand when the country of Poland, yes, you heard me, Poland, almost banned the director from being allowed in the country ever again. A24 carries a level of self-awareness that I have never seen a production company be known for. People will look at the A24 logo and know exactly what type of movie they are going to see. 
which is funny when you think about how diverse the catalog of films they have is. This is because A24 is a production company that thrives off of the art of complex storytelling. There are vast differences between movies like The Lighthouse, The Last Black Man in San Francisco, The Farewell, and Uncut Gems, but they all echo the passion and narrative structures that A24 has cultivated its entire success on. Another reason this company is so successful is diversity. I think we can all agree not every movie and show distributed by the company will be award-winning, but they take risks of finding new directors, writers, concepts, and expanding on their own team because it's so important to them. This company is known for distributing movies that take you out of your comfort zone and make you try and understand concepts you might have never thought about before. Each movie they put out is unique to itself, and it has this aura that A24 has cultivated so well. They do everything in their power to support the filmmakers they work with, their creativity, and their emotionally complex ideas. Director of Moonlight, Barry Jenkins, expressed how he felt ready to make Moonlight with A24 because... He always felt that you could feel the filmmakers' voices in their films. That's why everyone says, I know what an A24 film is, but no A24 film is like any other. And in the end, Moonlight won the Academy Award for Best Picture, so he and A24 were definitely in the right. Keywords that surround the movies this company puts out include sincere and authentic. There is real heart to these stories and characters, no matter how dark or light the subject matter may be. That is a powerful key that production companies usually aren't able to hold on to by themselves. You won't see A24 rushing to put out the next $75 million blockbuster, but instead they will release the tearjerker that ends up becoming your new comfort movie. So. What does make A24 really successful? I guess you could put it into one simple word, passion. Passion is the driving force that leads to premieres at the most awarded film festivals, Oscar wins, and cult-like followings for specific directors, writers, and movies alike. Thank you so much for watching this video. 